Hey y'all, welcome to video eight in our Project 3030, 30 videos in 30 days. Let's talk about the most important thing that you can control that affects your health and your body. That is your diet, your nutrition. You know, there's many different opinions about diets out there. I know we've heard them all and it seems like no one gets along, but this is my take on it and my experience through adjusting my diet over the years to find what suits my body and my lifestyle the best. Not all people need the same diet, but I do believe that there are key principles that are pretty much universal to everyone. I'm about to give you the meat and potatoes, well, maybe just the meat of my thoughts with all the nonsense left out. So first, what is nutrition? What is our diet? Well, let's think of it as fuel for our body, right? Our body is an engine and the food that we consume is the fuel. Now, would you put poor quality contaminated fuel in your car? What if the fuel had water in it? You know, I'm guessing you probably wouldn't knowingly do that. If you did, it'd run like some old hoopty bucking and skipping around town and might actually tear up, you know, leave you stranded somewhere. No one wants that. Now, why would you not put the bad fuel in it? Well, that's because you know that gasoline and diesel are very specific liquids that make our cars, our boats, our planes, our motorcycles, and whatever go. So put in the right liquid, they work really well put in a lesser quality or contaminated liquid, they may not work at all. Myself, I like to fuel my body with high quality fuel so that I know it's not gonna quit on me and it will perform at an optimum level. So what are some good fuels, some good foods? Substances that are high in nutrients like proteins, vitamins and minerals and things that will actually fuel and grow and build our bodies to be the best body that it can be. Let's have the majority of our diet be foods that are high in nutrients. Things like wild game, beef, eggs, uh, seafood, pork, you know, chicken are all good starters. All right, so what are the poor fuels? Well, some of the worst fuels are things like sugar and grains. So bread, oats, cookies, crackers, rice. Now, whenever you compare sugar and the grains to meats, they have a much lower nutritional value per calorie. Before we get too much further, I wanna clear up one common misconception. Not all calories are created equal. Here's what I mean by that. Let's say we have two people, right? They're clones of each other. They're the exact same person in a parallel universe. Let's say that. And both of them are consuming the same amount of calories each day. Let's say 2,000 calories. Now, one of them is getting their calories through steak, eggs, and fish. And the other is getting the exact same number of calories, but they're eating things like cake, uh, Reese cups, Nerds, and Klondike bars. <laughs> All right, so after a year, who do you think is going to be the healthier person? Well, I think it's obvious. You ain't gonna be healthy eating all that junk food. You're gonna be sick, weak, and probably a diabetic. <laughs> when we eat, our body is working to digest food and extract the good stuff in order to make a good, strong body. Now, when we eat junk, our body is wasting its time and its energy trying to get nutrients out of this nothing, right? Just like trying to get blood out of a turnip. A perfect quick example of that is, remember all those times that you've eaten corn and then a day or so later you, you spot it you know, floating down in the toilet? Well, that junk is so useless that our body can't even break it down. Yet someone counts it as a calorie when they would have been much better off trading that corn for a more nutritious option and really got some calories and nutrients and protein and benefit from what they ate and what they flushed through their body and their body had to work for. So when we're eating high quality foods, we fuel our body efficiently and we don't waste our body's efforts. So in a 24 hour period, you know, our bodies can only handle so much self care, building muscle, you know, immune defense, self healing. So why waste its efforts on something that is not doing you any good? But wait Trip, corn is a vegetable. You're telling me it isn't healthy? Look, vegetables aren't always healthy. Look at iceberg lettuce. You know, it's also a vegetable, but there ain't hardly anything in there that fuels our body. Well, aside from the structured water that's in there, but that's for a different video. <laughs> okay, Trip. so what's good and what's bad? All right, here's the good. These are the things that you should consume on a regular basis. Meats, things like liver, the most nutrient-dense meat there is. Sardines in water. Boom, you should be eating these things. I eat them every day to break my fast. It's a great thing. Eggs, great source of protein and a wide variety of nutrients. Things like wild game. It's lean, it's clean, and it's nutrient dense. And you can eat things like beef, 
which is a great source of protein and has pretty much all the nutrients that you need to survive. And then you also have things like pork, great protein, great nutrient. Then you have chicken, which isn't the best, but it's, it's better than other options. Then there's other things like avocados, sweet potatoes, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. Those things can also be good. But you need to be careful with too many fruits because a lot of them are just a lot of sugar and not a lot of benefit. You're gonna get the same benefit or even more by eating something like meat. Now for the bad things. These should be avoided. The benefits are small, if any at all, and they can certainly have a negative effect on your body. Number one, sugars, like candy, soft drinks, fruit juices, desserts, they ain't doing anything good for you. Then you have your grains, things like breads, pastas, cakes, uh, corn, uh, fry batter, you know, cookies, oatmeal, rice, all that stuff, it's not really doing anything good for you. It's certainly not providing you anything that you can't get from meat. There's just a lot that it is lacking and a lot of empty calories that are gonna go and get stuck on your body or somewhere else or they're going to waste your body's efforts when it could be doing a whole lot better for itself. What about other vegetables, Trip? What about salad? Trip, salad is healthy. Okay, I'm not saying that salad isn't healthy when you compare it to sugar and grains, but when you compare it to steak, it's no match. All the nutrients that you can get from salad are also in that steak. They're just in a much more nutrient dense form. Here's a great example. Actually, one of my favorite examples. Well, I don't know, the corn might've been pretty good, but this is pretty good too. So picture a cow. What does a cow do all day? What does it eat? Well, it eats basically a salad all day long. And then what does that cow grow into? It grows into a big muscular cow. It grows into a, a steak, for instance. But what else does a cow do? Well, it eats the grass and it poops. What does it poop out? Well, if you ever looked at cow poop, it's pretty much like little grass flakes. So the cow is eating that salad and then it is filtering all of the nutrients that it takes from that salad, from the grass, and it is creating a steak. It's creating muscle. It's creating a good, healthy body. That means all the good stuff from the salad is in that steak. It's in that liver. It's in that heart. It's in that good stuff that you can eat and, and not to worry about having to poop out all that friggin' grass, right? <laughs> hey, if you love that example, give this video a thumbs up. It's the easiest way to show your support and this help this video spread to more people. Now there's also some extras that I supplement with to boost my fasting and other health markers and to quench my sweet tooth. But first I wanna let you know that I'm taking on a small number of one-on-one -on -one clients for coaching diet, fitness, and lifestyle with Volley. You'll have me as like a personal coach right in your pocket. You can pick up your phone and you can chat with me back and forth. If you're interested, check out tripsmith.live slash lifestyle and see what it's all about. All right, so now the extras. First let's talk about drinks, matcha green tea. Boom, this stuff is great to add in the latter portion of your fast to boost the effects of fasting. It has a little bit of caffeine in it, but it also does things like it mobilizes fat cells to help you burn them easier. I usually drink this in the morning prior to my fasted workouts. Then you have apple cider vinegar, that has some proven benefits, and then you have some regular teas that I kind of enjoy, like throat coat echinacea, it's great for the throat, because sometimes I used to have throat issues, especially before I was on a good diet, and I really just grew to love the flavor of that tea, and it's zero calories, so I can drink it while I'm fasting. Then for my sweet tooth, sometimes I'll toss in a smoothie and I'll take blueberries, uh, vanilla protein, the whey isolate kind, and then I'll take 100% cacao. I usually do the bar, this is actually powder, but I'll take 100% cacao, not cocoa, cacao. Then I'll add coconut milk to it, and if I need the extra calories, I'll put some almond butter in it and it just makes it so delicious and creamy. So now that we know the good fuel for our bodies, we can also help out the situation by knowing how much fuel to put in our bodies and also when to put it in. Myself, I don't really count calories. I know that if I eat the right foods and eat them until I'm satisfied, my body is gonna utilize those fuels efficiently and not pack on any unwanted pounds. But I do carefully time when I fuel my body with intermittent fasting and some prolonged fasting as well. And it certainly has a lot of benefits. Now, if you wanna know my take on fitness, video 12 and project 3030 is about just that. Click right here to watch it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it encourages you to make some better decisions with your life so you can get out there and live a better adventure, an adventurous life. All right, love you, God bless, see y'all tomorrow.